Yo guys, what's going on? Um, it's Tricks here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another tutorial. So, um, if you didn't hear my last video, it said I had a good mic, but it sounded like I said that, but, um, really I said I had a bad mic, um, and I just felt like making a tutorial. So, um, I've been making tutorials because I got a new computer, and, um, I didn't have, like, a mic, and, um, nowhere, no stores where I live actually sell, like, computer mics, like, the, like that, except the ones with the headset. And so I just put one with the headset and it's actually really terrible quality. That's why my voice probably sounds like heaps retarded. But anyway, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make like a YouTube banner for your like YouTube channel. It's pretty, this is going to be uh, like a, I guess you could say a 2D style. Um, so I've made a few tutorials on how to make a 2D YouTube banner. And they've been pretty much um, really simple ones. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a... Uh, Bit, like a heap advanced one, so I've done like a one with a really simple one and a bit more advanced one, and now it's going to be like a full-on clean YouTube banner. So um, to start off, open your like banner template thing uh with the borders and stuff, and uh, so first you want to get like a black texture. So if you just type in black texture in Google, you can pretty much just find a black texture. But this is the one I made, so I'm going to be using this. So um, make the black ground the the black. <laughs> the background are black and then add your texture on top and with the tex texture <laughs> um, lower the opacity to about 30... 31% I guess 30 to 31% once you've got that I'll uh, make another new layer and just get um, like a normal brush and set the colour to whatever colour whatever colour scheme you want um, I'm going to be using like a blue colour scheme so select blue and then you can change your brush size um, in here but if you actually just want to do it easy, like, if you want to change your brush, like, a bit easier, hold, uh, shift, no, hold alt, hold alt and, um, control, and then use your mouse, and if you go out, if you go, like, to the left and right, um, it makes your brush bigger, and if you go up and down, it makes the hardness, um, higher, and, yeah. So that's just a uh, little trick. So, um, just start off by adding some little glows, like, well, I'm going to make this a touch lighter. So um, I'm actually using a new screen recorder right now. Even though it's still pretty bad quality, I'm still going to use it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> just add some glows around the bottom. Um, don't have to be too picky, but just add some glows there. And maybe on the side. A couple on the top if you want. And I'll turn the opacity down until you can just see, I don't know, probably about... Probably about like a 40 or 30 opacity. And if you want to change that, the colour or anything, just press Ctrl U on your keyboard and it'll come up with uh, your hue. It's pretty much got like a hue option and you can change your colour and stuff, which is pretty cool. You can change your saturation too. But I'm just going to leave mine, um, I'm just going to change mine a tiny bit and yeah. So um, next, once you've got that, uh, you pretty much just add some textures and stuff. So, uh, you can just download a Photoshop brush pack, um, so just make another new layer, and, uh, go to your brushes, and just download brush packs, and you can get all these, like, cool brushes. I'll prob I might use, like, a, sp no, uh, actually, I'm gonna get the, uh, this hexagon brush of, the hexagon brush I've got. I'm just gonna add, like, a little pattern. Hexagons, just add, uh, random, like, patterns in, and like effects and stuff until like it looks pretty detailed and looks good so I'm just gonna add that and then I'm gonna merge these two together the two layers and then uh, set the blend mode to overlay and turn the opacity oh wait we'll try overlay we'll try we'll try yeah just try different um actually yeah I'll just leave that overlay and then you can turn the opacity down a little bit if you want so it just gives it some texture. And um, also just I'm going to make a new layer and also it had some sp uh, like paint splatters. Uh, you can just like download these off random websites. So I might use... I actually might use uh, this effect. So I'm just going to add some random little splatter things that are... 
You can either put on overlay, which I'll probably just... I'll probably just make it blue. I'll give it a nice light blue. And I'll turn the opacity down, just so you can just see it, just so it gives it that tiny bit of texture. I'm actually going to start that again with a different brush. It's alright, like, you just have to play around until you, how you like it. So maybe I'll just try it with a... Maybe something like that. And I'll put it on, uh, actually... Just change the colour. And I'll just use different brushes and make some different kind of texture things. So once you've got that, I'm just going to add another colour and another n nice light blue and then I'm going to either set it on, you can either set it on overlay or um, turn the opacity down, I guess whichever one you like you can do. So I I'm probably going to prefer um, putting the opacity down, I'm going to put it down pretty far, probably about 3% and that's for mine, per personal preference. And then I'll get like another one of them brushes, another, get another circle brush with the hardnesses at 0% and then change the colour to white and then uh, just add some, add some little dots around the place, oh actually, oh yeah, yeah just add some little dots around the place, just make sure you make a new layer every time you add something new just so um it doesn't get like, it doesn't ruin the other layer. So once you've got some dots down, just uh, set that to an overlay, and it'll just make it a bit brighter, if you want, actually. I'm actually going to put a colour on this, and then set it to overlay. So it just gives it more of a glow. And um, this is a pretty good background right now, I'm just going to save it now. As a uh, test. So um, now you can pretty much add your text. So uh, a nice colour that goes with blue is probably going to be uh, white. White goes with blue pretty good. So I'm going to get my text tool. You can just press T on your keyboard if you want. And then create some text. So I'm, I'm using this one called uh, 20 second bold. And um, I'm, I'll just... That looks alright. So you can add like... You can add random stuff. Wait, I want to try this new font I got. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, actually, I'll just try Arial. Sorry if I'm not talking. Um, it's just because I'm trying to concentrate and make this as best as possible. I can't talk like all the time when I'm designing. Cause, yeah. Actually... I'm just gonna keep this font 20 second, that 20 second font. So uh, once you, <coughs> if you have, if you want two words, um, a cool effect is you can uh, put your first word in and then rasterize that. Actually, put your first word in, press Control J and make a duplicate of it. Then put your second word in. So I'm gonna make my name. And then uh, with the with uh, the name, I'm going to rasterize that, and I'm going to actually move it a bit, move it on an angle, and I'm going to do the same with your rasterize it, and I'm going to move that on an angle too. So it's a bit of an angle there. So once you've got your two words, uh, just try and put it in the center. And uh, once you've got that, just uh, highlight, highlight um, with your actually highlight your first uh, word. So my first word is your. So if you go to the layer, hold um, hold select. I mean not select, hold control, 
and then go in this little box, you'll see like a box um, appear next to the hand. Click it and it should select around the um, text. Then go select, modify, expand and expand it probably by... I'm going to expand mine by about 4. And then select your name select your name layer and press delete on your keyboard. And see it pretty much deletes um, a space around that letter. So um, now you pretty much have your two words here. You can just center, you can just like mess around with some layer styles. So I'm just going to merge them together. And I'm going to add, I'm just going to make it kind of a grey. It's still going to be white but like more of a grey white. And uh, once you've got that, all you have to do now is pretty much, you can just add like a another layer under the text and then uh, put your brush pretty much right up and then just make a dot and then uh, set, set that to overlay and see how it's brighter in the middle now um, just turn the opacity down and that looks pretty good now you can make your text a bit bigger if you want it's really up to you how you like it you can just play around with it add gradients and whatnot. I might add an outer glow So that's overlay. So that's pretty much um the template guys. Um it has been pretty simple. This will be for download in the description. Um you can't change the name or whatever because it's always it's like already rasterized. See, if I go to the text tool, um it will just make a new one. You can't change the actual text. You have to make it yourself. But it's got the background and everything. So if you did like the video, make sure you leave a like. I'll make a new tutorial soon. And um yeah guys, peace.